Hey everybody, I just wanted to make another video today. Um, I just kind of want to start making daily videos about my Clash of Clans account, because uh, why not? I had fun recording the last video, so. Um, today, I just kind of want to talk about like uh, how much my progress has been since the last video. Um, as you can see, I haven't made any. The builders, nothing's completed. I have an air defense finishing in five hours. Um, I've been pretty busy today with like work and stuff. Uh, and it's actually my birthday, so uh, but <laughs> so I haven't really had much time to do attacks. I only did two at work um, behind my monitor without anybody knowing. So I haven't really had much time to do any of the attacks. Uh, just so you know, so how uh, so I can explain how Legend Leaks works pretty quick. So in all the other trophy, uh, I can't even view it, but all the other trophy tiers you have over here. It's all the same for how the base game works is you attack, you get defenses, you lose loot on defense and stuff, and you gain trophy and you get shields and, and you get shields for whenever you get attacked and whenever you attack, you lose a certain amount of the shield, like three, four, five hours. But when you get to Legend League, it, it works a little bit differently. You have eight attacks every day and you have eight defenses every day. And the defenses, they don't take any loot and the attacks, you don't get any of their loot. Everybody has like a pre-assigned amount of loot that you get every time. So the loot is actually significant. But the only way that my account stays in Legends League is um, if I do all eight attacks every single day. Because as you see, like the previous day, like I didn't get all my defenses. And actually, like I never get all my defenses. And the only way that I can stay in is because you see, I only get like one stars, two stars. But on defense, it was a pretty good day yesterday. But on defense, usually I get three star every time. I don't know how far back my defense log goes, but... Uh, I guess my defense has been getting better, obviously, just because doing upgrades and stuff. And I just use a hammer on my scatter shot. And uh, also in Legends League, when you have stuff upgrading, so you actually choose what defense, what village you want to put. When you have stuff upgrading, it's like Clan War. So it's automatically like done or something. I don't think it goes to the next level, but it's just like how it was. So my defense isn't too bad now. It was a lot worse at Town Hall 13. I would just get bumped out even when I did all eight attacks every single day. Um, you, and just because I would get three three stars and that would be minus so it's 40 for a three star I'm pretty sure uh, I think it says it here somewhere or it's minus 30 for a three star so I get four of them that'd be minus 120 and <laughs> on a good day like yesterday I only got plus 117 so it'd be a net loss of three trophies and you get bumped out of Legends League when you go below 4,900 and then the day resets um, so today, yeah, I've only really done two attacks. I need to do the rest of them. But uh, we just did our 30-person war. Uh, so we don't have a war, so I'll, I'll be able to get my attacks in for sure. But um, I don't know. I just kind of want to talk about, like, our war strategy and stuff. Like, my clan is decently okay. It's kind of hard to see, but these are all, like, Town Hall 6s and stuff. Uh, actually, it's better just to look at, like, just imagine, like, 30 of the people that are opting in we're in the war so yeah we have like town hall sixes and sevens eights nines tens eleven twelve oh i mean we have from sixes up kind of um but yeah like we're not too hot with uh our strategy yet so like yeah obviously we clean up the bottom and stuff but a lot of people try to attack like their mirror a lot of the time so it ends up us we end up wasting a lot of attacks like these couple like i kind of wish they attacked lower uh, but also, like, yeah, like, Guardi's our number one. He usually can three out of the top two, but I had to take the number two. This one's actually a pretty funny replay. I'll show this one. Uh, it's just, uh, just, a default phase. So, okay, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, I just use my normal attack strategy. I, I figured E-Drags would be a pretty good option. A lot of times when you have default bases like this, um, you can actually fail. So I know it's like, it's kind of funny, like how can you fail this type of base? They don't even have any walls set up. But actually they have all their heavy defenses in one area. It kind of reminds me of this old Legend League base that I used to use. I used to use like this one. So yeah, how this one works is it like trolls by having your town hall at the bottom, but it has all the heavy defenses near the bottom. So people attack and they get wiped so hard. So that's what you kind of got to be careful with, like with bases like that. Uh, just because sometimes you can 
without realizing it, you can lose all your troops like instantly. So I, I really kind of had to plan it out. A, a lot of times, like just using E drags is pretty safe. And I just froze all the stuff up here. Cause I was like, I'm not even risking it. I even dropped like the rage spells early, you saw in it. But yeah, that kind of helped out how we had that free three star up top. But we're, we kind of struggle a lot with our town hall 12s here. Um, especially when uh, Guardy can only get. Especially when Guardi can only get like two stars, but he said his warden and royal champion will be done soon. He said three days until uh, I was somewhere up here, but he said I think three days until yeah, right there. Royal champion will be back, and oh, Grand Warden also, yeah. And Grand Warden, obviously, like in my opinion, is one of the best heroes in the uh whole game, uh, just because he boosts all your troops. Without him, he's all your troops get instantly weaker. Uh, I always have him upgrading. I try to always have him upgrading. And then the minute we have War League and stuff, I'm like, whoa, like I'm way stronger attacking than I was for the past month. Uh, it's kind of fun to have a refresh like that. But yeah, like, I kind of want to talk a little bit more about like the clan today. So me and uh, Sakelnader, uh, she's my girlfriend in real life. We decided we always like would bounce around clans and stuff because I actually have a second account here. Um, I can make a video on the second account some other time, but yeah, Franco Mac, <laughs> it's just like a troll account. It only has wall breakers and heroes and spells and stuff, but yeah, so we would always bounce around. We started roughly around the same time. I can visit it quick, um, and I would always get kicked out of clans, and we'd be in like bad clans and stuff. We are like, why don't we just start our own clan? Um, so we did. We started our own clan. And I was just so like anxious about it because I, in my main account, I was in like one of the top clans. The clan capital was like maxed out and everything. Not maxed out and everything. It was actually like maxed out. Maybe a couple troops weren't. And it was hard to leave because I got such a hit to raid medals. And I just, we just disbanded the clan. I was like, I can't do this. Like it's such, it's so taxing for Franco, like my main account and Franco Mac. Like, and also when you make a clan, you can never really leave it because you're the leader and stuff. And then actually like four days later, we were like, you know what? I'm, I was like, I'm kind of getting tired of the game. Why don't we just start a clan? Like, why don't we do it again? And we started it and it was always like hard to recruit the members. And we started and the first couple people were like, Andrew, who's my cousin in real life. And we got uh, this kid I know. He's my friend. And we got like enough. So we made a five person war. I got my other friend, Beef, in this start. So those were like the original people to join and start the clan. Uh, and then we did a five person war. And then right after we got enough and we got a 10 person war. So within two days. And then the next one. Uh, yeah, you can probably see it in the war log. Yeah. So we did a 5v5, a 10v10. And then we got 15. And I was like, whoa, the clan is growing rapidly. And before I knew it, the very next war, we had 40 people. I was like, whoa. And during that war, and also we were on a win streak. I didn't expect to win any, especially considering one of our accounts was only wall breakers. And then during that war, we actually uh, hit the clan clan max 50 people. And what I do is if there's someone new and they're opted into war because they want to be in war and they don't attack and they've never been in the clan before and they just don't attack and they were opted in, I kick them out. So we actually hit the clan max in... I don't even know how many days it is. It was like a week, and that was not what I expected at all. So this new clan is actually really fun. The only thing is, like, we don't quite have the clan perks. This one would be nice to have the donation limit, but you don't realize it until you get rid of it, how important that is, especially the donation upgrade. That will be the biggest one we can get. I'm really, We're really trying to grind out the clan wars and stuff just so we can get that donation upgrade that back. That's huge. Oh, yeah, and then currently, then I was like, let's do a 30... I think because we kicked a bunch of people from that 40 v 40 war and then we did 30 v 30 war and whatever happened we kicked out more and like our clan just kept getting full like it would always be full and when we first started like the requirements for the clan like i had you can see here like required town hall level seven we had it nothing like i was like anything but then you get like spammers come in and stuff because i like to keep clans anybody can join i think invite only is kind of like cancerous like you have to request and you have to wait but i was like if someone wants to join they join right away i'll say what's up they can explain themselves instead of like this application type process. I like to have it like more friendly and uh, you can see our clan is like tries to be friendly. We have newbie friendly, relaxed, friendly, even though we are kind of like, I try to keep it intense for clan war. We're, we are pretty good at wars and stuff. Uh, 
I mean, obviously our clan capital just started. Me and Gardy were both in that really good clan I was talking about. So we have tons of capital levels and stuff. Um, but it's fun to restart even in clan capital. It's just a good refreshing from always using a constant graveyard spell spam, which is kind of annoying. But um, yeah, so we have our required town hall at level seven. And as you can see, we have 46 people. So it's not full yet. Uh, I just had to kick people from the last war and stuff. But yeah, and then we had a, I was like, hey, how many times do you have the opportunity to do a 50 v 50 war? I was like, we just started this clan like two weeks ago. So we hit a 50 v 50 and we lost, obviously. And then this time we had 33 people that wanted to be opted into war. And this is the first one that I actually like, instead of rounding up, because you can only do 30 people or 40 people in war, uh, I decided to do, I decided to cut the three worst people. So one person actually got like, zero stars I, I don't know what his deal is i kind of want to kick him i'm not gonna lie but yeah like in this 50 to 50 one person got zero like i kicked all the people that didn't attack and stuff i thought i don't know what happened here but oh the, some of the people are opted out but yeah then one of the one of these guys here got like zero stars and i had him so i cut him cut this beaver guy and cut dave there so then I, I lowered it first. This is the first time that I lowered it down to 30 people. It still kind of didn't work. So I don't know what I'm going to do for the next war. I'll, I'll probably get one started pretty soon. I mean, let's see what I can do for starting it. So we have 32. Yeah. So I got to cut out two extra people. I'll scan through the thing later and make my decision on who I want to take out. Uh, I think it's better to do that instead of having the extra eight bodies that just don't even do attacks. Um but I mean, it is clan more clan XP. But I think the thirty v thirty is our our best shot. I mean, if anything, I would even like do smaller wars. But uh, we kind of don't have enough. Well, we have too many people for that. But uh, I think I'll end off the video here again with another attack. I kind of like to end with attacks here just to show off my <laughs> skill against fully maxed out town hall fifteens with my <laughs> town hall twelve level archer queen. So, uh, yeah, we'll just start up top here again. Typical queen charge. Um, I don't know if last video, I think I did, but I just got new levels of wall breaker. And it's kind of nice. Like, I only have to really use three on, like, certain levels of walls. Like, max out to the town 15 level. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if he died to his uh, black air mine, but it's a poison thing there. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, 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 perfect. Good thing I dropped another one. Um, I heard like pros and stuff, they call those coconut balloons, I don't really know why, but yeah, so hopefully we catch another black air mine there, I'm not really sure if we will, but he's almost dying, I don't, I don't really like that, uh, so yeah, then it just takes two wall breakers to break open, she's going for now, uh, air sweepers are pointing into the town hall, this will honestly just be a difficult one star, because the queen's going around the eagle, uh, I wish I could draw on the screen, but I'm gonna deploy on this upper left side, I guess you call that, northwest side because the queen's providing a funnel down towards the right and i wish i had some more wall breakers because i'd have the king funnel down the left the left there but i mean this could work i'll drop another cocoa balloon coconut balloon I don't know. uh just to test for more bombs and healers don't die there uh, one oh and the super minions are coming out i'm just gonna pop uh manual ability because those can fry your queen uh, so I'll drop the king to the funnel. Let's start. Okay. Usually I drop the balloons just as more test for the line. But yeah, we'll drop the e drags in there. I really don't think there's a chance I can get down all unless I use like all my pages and stuff. I guess I can. Put a royal champion up top here. Uh, um, yeah, just for the video's sake, I'll. I'll all my clan castle pieces. I honestly like to see them a lot of the time. I don't know why. Uh, I, I doubt I can get the town hall here actually. This one might actually be a struggle to get the uh, ones. Oh no. I'm at 45. I'm an E-drag and my king. I love having the king up as a hero just because he's basically just one star security. Like he'll always let you get. Oh. So, uh, he always just like lets you get a one star base. He always just gets you that extra like 10 to 15 percent right when you need it at the end. So I'm kind of like a little bit scared when I have to start upgrading him soon because I only have uh, one more royal champion 
level, but it's gonna take 330. I'm just gonna drop, so a lot of times I just drop the blimp, just to get some extra percentage. I don't like to let it die, though, because I don't want my clan castle troops to come out. So the minute I got that border, I close it out. Got 290,000 bonus loot, and uh, I almost have another army to, I almost have another army for Legends, for another Legends League attack. Still have a couple more, but yeah, we'll see tomorrow if I'm net positive. Yesterday I was net, yeah, net positive 47. That's pretty good. My all time highest is 51.43. Um, oh, yeah, actually, also my electric owl did finish yesterday, so that's why my dark licks is a little bit low. So, yeah, I did have some sort of progress yesterday. I'm just gonna keep ripping him while the warden's down. Um, but yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, thank you for watching. All right.